to Library Out Loud with your host, Jane Baker. Jane has seven years working at the Spokane County Library District as a Communication and Development Director. Library Out Loud is about any and all things that are happening at the Library District. Library Out Loud is brought to you in part by STCU and SCLD. Now, here's your host, Jane Baker. Hello and welcome to Library Out Loud. I'm Jane Baker with the Spokane County Library District and joining me today, two lovely ladies, Erin Dodge, also from the Spokane County Library District, yes. and Eva Silverstone from the Spokane Public Library. And more importantly, you are both on the committee for Spokane is Reading, okay. which is our topic for the day. Yes. Welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah, it's very exciting to have have you on. Uh, a few years ago when we first started this program, Spokane is Reading was our first subject and uh, Eva I believe you were there that time so was, yeah. thanks for hanging in there with me no. through the long haul of this <laughs> and, and and the great work Spokane is reading is our annual community read uh, it's coming up again so soon I can't wait to get started let's first talk about well let's talk about the book first let's okay. get right into that it sounds great okay this year's book is Circe yes oh. um, Madeline yeah. Miller excellent writer mm -hmm. and it's um, well how would you say it's it's kind of a run a runoff of um, the so Odyssey? Yeah. So Cersei um, had a tiny, tiny, tiny little yes. um, section in the Odyssey. Mm -hmm. She was and the witch. She was the witch who um, turns sailors into uh, hogs. Swine. Swine. Hogs. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, um, <laughs> and but she had a tiny, tiny little part. And um, so Madeline Miller has taken her story and just blown it up like. Um, she gets banished to an island um, because she threatens the power of the gods. Oh, wow. And, um, and well, and part of that is because um, before Circe in the Greek mythology, there wasn't much sorcery and sort of herbology. And, um, and that was, she comes to find out, Circe, that that is one of the ways to kill the gods basically or oh, harm the gods interesting so the gods have you know all the power and uh -huh. yeah. all of that and she's immortal but she's um a, a titan's daughter so she's uh, an anip so she's sort of she's not as powerful as the gods right gotcha um, okay yeah the other thing um i want to say about circe is that what's really cool about it is in the original she's she's a villain um mm -hmm. she's a witch mm -hmm. she her, she's very flat. She's a very flat character, just just basically evil, which doing these cruel things to men. I think what Madeline Miller has done here is she has created a full character, a full woman with lots of um, immortal, mortal. But you know, mm -hmm. she has a voice of a mortal, immortal, um, with all of the complexities of of any woman, right? Mm -hmm. All of you know the good qualities, the bad qualities. You know, she's she is a little vengeful. Um, but she's also can be very kind. Um, so I think that there's a lot of um, complexity and, and it's sort of a, it's a feminist retelling, you know, kind of yes, taking um, a look at the women that it's in Greek mythology and saying, hey, they were more than just villains to all these heroic men. Mm -hmm. So Wow, this is exciting to, to hear about. Now, usually when Spokane is reading, announces their book I read it ahead of time so this is the first time I have not read the book ahead okay. of time uh, so I am, have a few weeks I have a couple <laughs> weeks um, but I'm very excited about it so Circe is um, I, ironically it's Circe that you know, if you watched Game of Thrones it's the same type of pronunciation but a different spelling yes. so um, Circe is a, a minor character in, in, a, in the Odyssey in the Odyssey, in the Odyssey and and right. then this author has taken and made her a full character it's with a her whole story. exciting yes. line in her story. Well, that's very exciting. Yes, yeah. So what if you do, I happen to love mythology, but yes. what if you don't? Is it okay? I think it's totally okay because um, when you were describing Cersei, I was like thinking of the word, she humanizes Cersei, even though Cersei is not, a god. Is not a human. <laughs> is not a human. <laughs> yes. And um, so it's very much a character story. And... Um, and I, I don't know a lot of Greek mythology. It hasn't been part of what my reading background. Mm -hmm. But in the back of the book, it's very handy. There's yes. a, um, a cast of characters. And so... You um, potentially could read that first. Yeah, you could. And, 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 and actually, up. 
it might be useful to you um, read the cast of characters first. So yes. she has a list of the Titan divinities. So those are the those were the gods before the gods, right? So they're right. kind of the lesser yeah. gods. And then you Apollo, have the, the, the sun god, is is actually her father. Her father. Okay. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. Wow. And so she she glows um, like. Her father. Oh, no, not Apollo. Uh, Helios. 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 Sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. Apollo's different. Yeah. Yeah. And um, uh, so you have the Titan divinities and the Olympian divinities, and yes. they kind of clash with each other. Right. And so I found the cast of characters really, really useful. Mm -hmm. and, and then they also list the mortals and the monsters. And um, she, Cersei plays a hand in uh, creating some of the monsters. Yes, is, she does. Wow. Um, it so sounds like this book has a little bit of everything. There's, yeah. a, there's some adventure. There's some um, rivalry. There's some mystery. Romance. There's romance, uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. Oh, and there's, well, I might there's, not be able to, to wait. I'll have to start <laughs> reading it right there's away. There's a good, uh -huh. uh, yeah. there's some family, some very interesting family dy dynamics. Um, between sisters and mothers and daughters yes. and sons and all of that, um, yes. And the world of the gods is is a strange world, and it, uh -huh. I think the book starts out that way, kind of describing that world, and um, I think it gives it a good base for when things really start racing forward, kind of after she gets exiled. It just the book just soars right through. So. And at first, she's like, "What am I going to do? I'm stuck on this island right. by myself." But the island magically um, provides for her. So she has a beautiful home uh -huh. with wine bottles that yes. never empty. empty oh, food, wow. food, uh, food right? Larder. That sounds pretty awesome. <laughs> don't, don't we all wish we had that? Yeah, right. <laughs> and a food larder that's never empty. And and the 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 was it lions and tigers are like basically her. They they they're tame around her. Yeah, they're her companions. They're her companions. Oh, it's so, yeah. Oh, it's and she like has visitors. Book. She's exiled, but a lot of visitors come to yeah. the island. Oh. So. And that's actually part of where the the miss the myth about her turning men into swine. Yes. And um, yeah, we don't want to give away too much. Right. Just that some men show up and she does turn them into swine for good reason. Yes. Hmm. <laughs> All right. I, I'm liking. Yeah. I'm liking so Cersei. So probably when she was portrayed as evil, you know the men at that time were like well, she turned men into swine that's not very nice but uh -huh. as i read it i'm like sh she had good reason yes. and oh. um uh, there's one line complex. that um, in the book though i love it it says um truth be told men make terrible pigs <laughs> okay well this i'm very excited to read the book and and yeah. for anybody that hasn't read it uh you still have time to read it before yes. Spokane but if you don't is read it. it it's okay mm -hmm. and yeah. I find that going and hearing the author sometimes inspires me to read a book that's um, true yeah so it's not a requirement to read the book if that's you true. want to come to her presentation and this is her second second or third book second book yeah. second book so her first book was the song of Achilles and um and so maybe you read that book and you haven't read Cersei yet, yes. uh -huh. um, but you're still welcome to come to the presentation. Well, Great. you can pick up the book at the, either library system. Sure. Or at Auntie's. So. Check, check yeah. it out or, e or purchase. Audiobook. E book, yeah. you bet. Now, and well, then it will be available for purchase at the, the programs. At the we program. Have. Well, let's talk about the program okay. now. So okay. now that we, we know a little bit about the book <laughs> and we're all excited about the book, let's talk about the Spokane is reading program itself okay and this is um where we're bringing madeline miller yes. the author in yes and um let's see thursday october 24th there's two shows yes mm -hmm. uh, shows yes Events. uh 1 p.m <laughs> <laughs> at the spokane valley event center that's at uh, 10 514 east sprague avenue and then also that same day, Thursday, October 24th, 7 p.m. at the Spokane Public Library downtown at 906 West Main. Um, and she comes and will be speaking. And, and how does it go? What is it like to attend Spokane as a reading? Um, well, the author will often read some of the book or discuss sort of how they did the research um, and sort of sh <clears throat> maybe share some tales. Uh -huh. about their research um, but probably she'll do some reading um, and that'll take a, a little bit of time and then we have a Q&A so people can come and 
bring your questions. Mm -hmm. I, there's a part. lot of students um, I know around the different universities and it, just people interested in classics and interested in mythology who are going to come. So it's like they're going to have questions mm -hmm. prepared. Mm -hmm. And then she'll just take questions and answer questions. Mm -hmm. um, it's I, That's sometimes the, the most fun, right? Mm -hmm. You get yes. to hear what, what people are asking and, sure. and how the author thought of the things she did and how she came up with what she came up with. Mm -hmm. um, there'll be time for uh, book signing. Oh, yes. um, aunties will be there to sell books if you don't have one and you want to get one. Mm -hmm. um, it's a real community feeling yeah. um, because you're sitting amongst, you know, hundreds of other people who um, came and are interested in the same topic. And that was one of the reasons we started Spokane's Reading yeah. was a way to build community. Um, so you know, if we all read the same book, mm -hmm. perhaps we have something to talk about with one another, and um, it brings us all closer to one another. Mm, so. That's very powerful. Yeah. Very and powerful to all so be coming from the same place and, mm -hmm. yeah. and, and then, and sharing that. you know, um, it's okay to not all love the book, you know? Uh -huh. That's true. And so it's it's a very popular book, mm -hmm. and people rate it very highly. But I just read a review that someone said, hey, I was expecting more. And I was like, oh, I wasn't. I thought it was great. But you mm -hmm. know what? Again, yeah, we can all have different opinions. So. Yeah, sure, yeah. sure. And that's part of uh, dialogue and mm -hmm. conversation is, mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, finding out. Well, what did you like about the book? Or mm -hmm. oh, you liked that character? I didn't <laughs> like that character. <laughs> yeah. And, so. and sometimes in discussing yeah. it, you realize that oh, maybe that character wasn't so bad, and, and makes right. you see it a little yeah. bit differently. Right. Yeah. Yes. Hearing hearing other people's perspectives um, makes us grow closer together and and understand one another more mm -hmm. and in any part of life you mm -hmm. know the when when we separate and we never talk to each other we we assume and yes so um we know what yeah. happens when you assume mm -hmm. yes. yeah we all do we all know that <laughs> <laughs> it never yeah. fails so you're you're correct eva that's that's a great point that um Reading a book together can bring us together in a way like that. That's yes. Yeah. Really yeah. awesome. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm super excited to read this book and see her. And I've been to Spokane as reading many times in the past. Sometimes I've gone to both mm -hmm. uh, performances because they weren't the same. No, they're not the yeah. same. They're usually not. I think the yeah. crowds are different. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, uh, you know, obviously the questions are different. Sure. Mm -hmm. And even the, the author will, they want to mix it up. So mm -hmm. they'll do a little something different at mm -hmm. each one yeah. um, just to, you know, so they don't get bored. <laughs> sure, sure. Yeah. And it's free. Oh, yeah. The oh, events are both free. free so, absolutely. So you're, um, and everyone's invited. Absolutely, yep. yes. Yeah. It mm -hmm. is It is open to everyone, and it's free. And how awesome is that? It's great. You know, it's great. And there's lots of free parking at the Spokane Valley Event Center. Mm -hmm. And then at the downtown library, if you arrive after 6 p.m., you can park under the building for free. Oh, and nice. Because um, it's not during normal library hours, so mm -hmm. the parking mm -hmm. lot is, or there's parking around, around. on the street. Yeah, yeah that's good yeah. to know. Good and to know. So um, we just encourage people to come because it's a great celebration of books and literature. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah it's great. Um, yeah. Now, Madeline Miller, do you know if she's been to Spokane before? She, I, not in no. my knowledge, yeah. Oh. This is her first, I believe this is her first mm -hmm. trip. Oh, yeah. She's from, uh, she's coming from Philadelphia, uh -huh. and where she uh, lives. I, and I think what's really interesting is, like, maybe you've read Circe, and, um, but you want to talk Shakespeare a mm -hmm. little bit? Mm -hmm. She taught high school Shakespeare for something like 10 years, yeah. so she's really interested in uh, lots of different bits of classic literature mm -hmm. and so you could even come and ask an off-topic question right. sure, um, sure. And, and get get some good information from her yeah. well having uh, I, I was fortunate to be a part of Spokane's reading a few years ago and yeah. and mm -hmm. in how it works and stuff and a lot of times uh, you get to know a lot about the authors um, let's talk a little bit more about that when we come back but we're going to take a quick break and we'll be right back on library out loud Welcome to Tom Sawyer Country Coffee. Tom Sawyer Country Coffee only roasts the finest organic coffee for our signature blends. Enjoy a cup at our coffee shop and local businesses and organizations across the region. I'm Tom Sawyer and we choose the Pacific Northwest. What? You haven't been to the library lately? Stop in today and see that the library is more than books. Spokane County Library District facilities feature on-site technology, including Wi-Fi, computers, and printers 
as well as free use of meeting rooms. The Library District offers events and programs for all ages, from story times to career development and employer classes to social security workshops. Our staff is well trained and happy to help. Find out more about your library at scld. I'm Jade Becker and I'm a senior at Chewila High School. I'm at STCU's Money Live event. In this scenario that we played today, I was a realtor. My spouse was a city worker. We had an 11 month old child and there was a lot of spending for that child, like diapers and formula and how to buy toys and clothing. <laughs> I'm very glad that I had this experience. It was super helpful. You need this to get far and ahead in life. I'm Jade Becker, and STCU is here for good. Welcome back to Library Out Loud. I'm Jane Baker with Aaron Dodge and Eva Silverstone, and we are talking about Spokane is Reading. Right. Uh, it's a, a free event that's coming up in October. Uh, well, this is October, October 24th. Yes. Um, 1 p.m. and 7 p.m. free performances and this year's title is uh, the book Circe by Madeline Miller, and it's very exciting that it's coming up. Uh, the cover is book gorgeous. Reading. Yes. yes, it is. It's uh -huh. beautiful. It's the, the got that bronze mm -hmm. kind of look to it. Quick recap: uh, if you if you're just joining us, uh, Circe is a minor character in um, the, the Odyssey. Odyssey. And Madeline Miller has taken and, and blown her up to a full character with very exciting things happening. And mm -hmm. yes. sounds like she lives in a world I wouldn't mind visiting. That'd be kind of fun. <laughs> yes. Um, but very exciting to have the author come to Spokane and talk about her book. And and in the past at Spokane is reading, you know, you get to ask questions of the author, which is pretty mm -hmm. cool. Um, a few years ago, I remember one of the authors had talked about her process in which she read the book forward and then read it backwards oh, yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, Eva, do you happen to remember who that was? I don't oh. remember. Was it I can Swamplandia, the author, or was it? Nope, no, it was after was. that. Was it Station Eleven? Station Eleven. That's it. Yeah. I think it was. Yes, and I, I found that very interesting that mm -hmm. the author, you know, who who labors over this, yeah. mm -hmm. and Erin, you're a writer, you know yeah, how much yeah, that's the a trick. laboring. That's what you do. Um, <laughs> but she re reads through it and then read it all backwards out loud. That's also wow. I remember her saying that in the well, presentation. Well, reading out loud is a great way mm -hmm. to hear whether your words sound clunky or right. you've if you trip over them out loud you probably trip over them when you're reading yeah yeah, or yeah. You've used the same adjective too many times in a yes. page or mm -hmm. something like yeah. that mm -hmm. yeah um, so I always yeah. found that you know I, of course I like to go mm -hmm. and I like to talk about the books and you get yeah. involved with the characters and about yes. the characters and everything yeah. but it's also nice to hear the author's process oh yes yeah. Yeah. oh yeah. this is a the Spokane is reading is a great event both of them afternoon and evening for writers oh yeah <coughs> mm -hmm. because uh, you're basically you're, you're getting some really professional um, insights mm -hmm. from someone who's published and, mm -hmm. and made mm -hmm. it happen and if you're working on that if that's one of your goals yeah you can talk about process you can talk about hey this certain scene affected me like kind of how did you come up with that what were you you know what were you doing when you wrote that like what were you thinking about you know but you can sort of dig into the behind the mm -hmm. scenes of writing. Yeah. So yeah, you it's can, really fascinating. Or you can say, how did you get this published? You know, that, how, yeah. how many rejection letters did you have before right. you got an acceptance? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. um, mm -hmm. um, how many manuscripts are sitting in a pile of dust on in your your writing room? Yeah, and yeah. So, yeah. How many how many different novels have you written before the one that right. gets published? So, cause Which is sure. kind of right. encouraging because we all you know we're like. Oh, shiny beautiful she wrote a book uh -huh. well she probably has like six other books that didn't get published right. mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and that's kind of encouraging to hear for um young writers or um or, or not so young writers yes, <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, <laughs> young in their career of writing yeah and um because it's not always gonna be the book yeah and yeah so, yeah um, you can't just sit down mm -hmm. write it out and send it in and have it published right. yeah yeah so. well i mean some people do well self-published yeah. no some yeah. people write it out and get uh, but those are the unicorns you sure. know i think mm -hmm. of the publishing world right sure most sure. every other writer is yeah 
put a lot of, of time into. Yeah, it, and we don't yeah. have the luxury of Cersei who lives thousands of years. Right. Um, to uh, just write and write and write. Yes, yes. So yes. And it, there's a yeah. lot of research, you mm -hmm. know, that, that she yes. has to do. Oh, yeah. And, and She's a true scholar. Mm -hmm. so. and, you, and Achilles, Song of Achilles, is Song that the other Achilles 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 is her so earlier book. That one's set in the Trojan Wars. Mm -hmm. So she's kind of specialized in this mythology yes. type area, at least mm -hmm. with these two books. Right, yeah. Um, and I believe the current one she's working on is uh, a Shakespeare related book to one of the one of the tales. I, I read that yeah. somewhere that she's the next one is set is one of the characters from Shakespeare. That's so. right. You mentioned earlier that, yeah. that she taught Shakespeare. Yeah, she also mm -hmm. taught the classics. Um, she's taught well, Latin and Greek. Yes. And so ah, wow. She's, yeah, she's got her masters in classics. So she's this is her her passion. Uh huh. So it's great to when you get that passion and the good writing. Yeah. And the great storytelling, and it all comes together. And then you get yeah. to meet the author, get to meet the him. mind, and yes. the person behind the, yes. the book. So. And we get to make an impression on them, too, because uh, I know in the past that you've been able to take the authors out a little bit. You know, of course, they're pretty busy mm -hmm. um, yeah. on that day with two performances, but you get to take them, show them a little bit of Spokane. Yeah. Sometimes we take yeah. them to Attica's for coffee and those type of things. Mm -hmm. yes. And oftentimes it's the first time they've been here. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, and I, I love Spokane and mm -hmm. uh, our surrounding area. So, and um, the authors are always like, wow. This is one of the best cities I've ever visited, mm -hmm. and so we take a lot of pride in welcoming the author and, and showing off yeah. our community to them. Mm -hmm. And yeah. we have a really strong literate community. We do. Um, yes. It's you know our our Greater Spokane area has tons of libraries yeah. um, and um, wonderful bookstores. Um, so it's a it's a great way to introduce people to books. Mm -hmm. And even though we do have such a strong literate community, um, and community steeped in reading, there are some people who are so busy that they don't have time to read. Yes. But they will come up to me at the program and they'll say, you know, I'm really busy, but um, I, and I hardly ever read, but I always read the book you guys choose for Spokane's reading. Which is great. Yeah. Yes. So they might <laughs> read great. one book a year. Yes. And um, unfortunately, there are a lot of lapsed readers. People finish college, and um, they've where they've had to read, 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 and um, and then they get they into get into their, work, yeah, yeah. And kids and yes. life and, yes. and, and yeah, and life gets full, so it's hard to find time to read. And so, if we can yeah. turn people back into readers with this program, yeah, our mission is complete <laughs> and it's so great if, if that's a pretty good mission they, they read yeah. the book that mm -hmm. you know for the year and then they go oh i really like that and then they read the previous book like song of achilles right. or sure. mm -hmm. they're like i can't wait for her next book sure. i'm going to read that one too so yeah. yeah it's the excitement that can kind of build up or they can look at the list of other books that we've chosen that's true mm -hmm. because when we choose a book we try and choose a book that appeals to a wide variety of people yes and um, that's really important to us. Mm -hmm. And so um, looking at the last, you know, the last 17 years of books, you're going to find some serious winners on there. That's and true. Yeah. Some really great and books. And on our website, Highly too, recommended books. Yes. That's mm -hmm. for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And on our website, um, SpokaneIsReading.org, we also put, if you liked this book, we have a list of similar books. Or in this mm -hmm. case, we have some Greek mythology mm -hmm. um, and some other um, sort of strong women mm -hmm. um, characters. And you can go on to the webpage and... You know, read some more of those if you enjoyed this one. A whole yeah. list yeah. of books there. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Eva, you've touched on something that's that's kind of a hot topic, right? Well, maybe a hot topic, a warm topic that is. <laughs> um, you know, kind of people have gone away from reading a bit. Um, in in general, I'm not talking to everyone, of course, and mm -hmm. uh, those in college and things. But you're right. You know, you're done with college. Oh, I don't have to read this stuff anymore. So, and then you get yeah. busy working. You have yeah, kids. Right. Our lifestyles are very busy, and we don't value reading like we used to. We have so many screens. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. So, you know, reading is good for you. I mean, yeah. it's yeah. proven to reduce it stress is. levels mm -hmm. and those type of things. And then what you were talking about earlier about bringing communities together. Right. So um, hold strong to that. <laughs> reading And if is you good. can't let go of your screen, mm -hmm. you can read this book. I read it. I read it. I read it as an ebook. I yeah. I am now addicted to ebooks. E I read uh -huh. a lot, but mm -hmm. it's just so easy to read it. 
just the palm of my hand. So. Absolutely. And um, I read the physical book, but I also listened to the audio book. The yes. audio book. And so I downloaded the audio book to my phone mm -hmm. from the library. And audio books mm -hmm. count. Yeah, That's they right. Do, as it reading. Counts yeah. as reading. Totally. It's, it, I think people feel like they're cheating or something because they get yeah. to listen. It's but it still activates the same brain centers. It yep. still activates your imagination. Mm -hmm. yes. You're just hearing a you a beautiful voice oh, mm -hmm. yeah. tell the story. It, it's, mm -hmm. so, yeah, it's a really good reader. It's a, it's, wow. They uh -huh. actually won an award. Um, oh yeah. For yeah. the audiobook for Circe. Wow. Yeah. It was it was beautifully read. Yeah. And um and when you listen to an audiobook, you can do the dishes. Yep. You yes. can knit. You can drive. You can drive the kids uh -huh. around to soccer. I yes. mean, uh -huh. yeah. you know. Yeah. Yes. We I, often I, audiobooks are awesome. <laughs> they yes. are. They are very <laughs> awesome because it, it's kind of the best of both worlds. You get the read, but you still get to get all the stuff done you have to get done. <clears throat> right. So, and you can check out the audiobook. Yes. and the ebook from our libraries mm -hmm. yes. um, there's the physical book to check out if you prefer that yep. and of course it's for sale at auntie's bookstore uh, ladies I'd love to talk about uh, Circe and Spokane's reading probably all day um, but sure we are running out of time <laughs> so once again Spokane is reading coming up Thursday October 24th 1 mm -hmm. p.m. at the Spokane Valley Event Center 7 p.m. at the Spokane Public Library downtown Madeline Miller will be in town to talk about her book so don't miss it October 20th. For Library Out Loud, I'm Jane Baker. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Library Out Loud is produced in Spokane, Washington by SpokaneTalksMedia.com, which is solely responsible for its content. Library Out Loud is sponsored by our friends at the Spokane County Library District and STCU. Ask Jane a question, recommend a guest, or hear this program again on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or Spokane.